and it's come from the songs of solomon chapter 1 verse 6 and it say look not upon me because i'm black because the son have looked upon me my mother's children were angry with me they made me the keeper of the vineyard but my own vineyard i kept not my subject today is 10 reasons why racism in the family and it's spreading in the street. Yes, 10 reasons why racism is in the family and it's spreading in the streets. Now, when I say racism in the family, it's in the family. And people need to own up to, the, to it of saying that you're a racist mother and you're a racist father. Yes, it's racist. Because the young lady say, look not upon me because I'm black. Because the son have looked upon me. My mother children were anger with me. They made me keeper of the vineyard, but my own vineyard I kept not. This young lady was feeling racial tension on her own by her own family. I felt it all my life, even when I got married. Yes, even when I got married, glory to God, I felt the tension. I remember I was getting married in, on June the 3rd, and I didn't get married in a, in a, in a, in a church. God, I got married at justice of peace. There was justice, and there was peace. I felt all my life, even when I attended this church, this pastor bashed foreigners, because if he bashed Spanish, he bashed Jamaicans. Then after I got my seven children, my, one, my, one of my son felt the wrath of racial tension for being a son of Fernandez. Hey, glory to God, from, from childhood, from, from being a youth, he felt the tension of saying next time and next time never came. My friend, we as being parents, we got to do better. We talk about racism I told, according to the white man, but we as being, being black parents, some of us are very racist. I got racist sisters and I got racist brothers. Yes, number one, we need to treat, now this is 10, ten T's. 10 T's, my friend, I, I want you to remember this. That's why racism is in my family and it's spreading the street. Number one, we don't treat each other we treat other differently because of the status and dislike of the past event. Oh, somebody hurt you don't mean that everybody's that name of Jamaica gonna hurt you. Number two, we we not being honest about the truth of whys and buts. We need to come. We need to come clean about it. Number three, does does grandchildren have to tell us that we are not sure we are showing respect to a person? grandma and grandpa for we need we we need to to talk about this disease that's in our family if we are planning on going to heaven we need to talk about it we need to sit around a table and talk about why you don't like me and why i love you but why you don't love me if we're striving for heaven, heaven, my friend, is a place of righteousness. Heaven is not for haters or dislikers or people still holding grudges. Number fifth thing, what is it going to, going to what is it going, what going, what is going to do to tear us apart? It is doing, what is doing to us, it is tearing us apart slowly but surely. Look, my friend, our children are growing up without their cousins, without uncles and nieces and nephews. Why? Because some of us are racist. Yes, I said, y'all are racist, my friend. Y'all have racial tension in the family. And it's tearing us apart. Some of us don't even know it, that that's our cousin. Oh, that's my, that's my niece or that's my nephew. We don't know. So some of us are going to end up marrying within the family. Why? Because we don't know each other. And I blame the family. Yes, I do. I blame the family. Because some of y'all are racist. And they glory to God. Rodney King say, can we all get along? No. Come on. 
we we call ourselves Christian, but we only Christian on Sunday. But when weekdays come, we take off the mask and act and act a part of who we really are. Number six, we are driven by 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 hungry thoughts that became reality each year. We don't spend time with each other. When I say we are driven by our hungry thought, what a hungry thought, money, prestige, power, hallelujah, glory to God, amen. We are driven by hungry thoughts. We want more money, see each other, but when something bad happened, like death of our loved one, then we come together as union, hallelujah. Number seven, that's a seven. We we don't spend time with each other. Like family union, but funerals. What? We don't spend time together like having a family reunion. But we spend time when somebody dies. The last time I've been to a funeral was five years ago. Hey, glory to God. Why can we have a family reunion? Why can we get along if we striving for heaven one day, my friend? We doing a bad job trying to get there, because if you don't, if you don't, if we don't like each other down on earth, what do you think you're going up in heaven? Because heaven is a place for the holy. Heaven is a place for the righteous. Heaven is a place for the overcomers. If you can't overcome racism, if you can't overcome hate and dislike of each other, my friend, something is going on. Amen. Number eight, we are terrible liars. Saying we don't have racial differences in the family. It's a lie from the pits of hell. Yes, we are turbo liars. We know we are racist. We know we, are, we, we have racial tension when it comes to, come to grandchildren and grandsons and granddaughters. We know we are racial, my friend. And it's time to put a stop to the racial issue in family because it's spreading in the street. Number nine, parents are the first to, to own up to respect a person toward their children. And I can say, I'm going to tell you this, my friend, I'm coming clean. I'm coming clean as being a father. I'm coming clean. Yes, I have respect a person. I favor one of my children more than the others. Yes, I did. And what happened, my friend, I got better over the years. I treat all my children are alike now. And that was ignorance of me. Hey, glory to God. And I'm telling you, I don't think it was racial. And I think that one of my children, I just, I just favor, like, like Jacob favor, favor Joseph. Hey, glory to God. But this I'm talking about racial differences in our family. Hallelujah. Hey, man, parents are the first to own up to respect their person toward their children. You know you could have been more active and proactive in your child life to push them to, to be successful. Some of y'all mothers did a bad job. You push other children and hold other children down. Yes, yes, you did. You say the other children are better than the other child, and this child gonna be this, and this child gonna be that. My friend, that's wrong. Racial racism is in the family. We talk about racism is in the street. No, racism is in the family. Some of y'all parents regret having certain children. Hey, glory to God. A mother shouldn't regret their child. And a father should regret their son. Hey, man, but it's in the family. I was left in Jamaica when I was three years old. My mother ain't got nothing, want nothing to do with me. But I thank God for prayer. Hey, glory to God. I thank God that God remember me. I'm like Samson. Lord, remember me just one more time. And God remember me, my friend. But I didn't, I didn't help my mother. Hey, glory to God. I didn't, I didn't fault my mother. Hey, glory to God. But I remember I was left in Jamaica at three years old. I came here when I was 14 years old. And I thank God for prayer. Prayer works. But racism is in the family. This woman say, look not upon me because I'm black. It's in the Bible. It's first so Solomon, 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 chapter 1, verse 6. Amen. So parents are the first. We, we need the first to be owned up to our responsibility 
of respect a person toward their children, you should you should you should have been more active and proactive in your child life. But but the other one you push to be successful, and the one you didn't push becomes successful even though you don't push them. Number ten, I'm I'm and I'm gone. We think racism is just when a white treat blacks different, but it's in our own house and our own family. I see it in my family. I saw yes, I saw it in the McPherson family. I was the I was the I was the wash belly. I was the the nobody trying to tell somebody about everybody that can save everybody. Yes, I can say it, my friend. I was the nobody. Hey, glory to God. I locked myself in a room for one whole year. Hey, glory to God until I was ready, hallelujah, to fight the witches and the warlocks and all the Satanists. Hallelujah. I know that's a different subject, but why racism is in my family and it's spreading in the street. Racism, my friend. I'm talking about church folks are racist. Yes, I said church folks are racist and they call themselves Christian and they're not Christian, but they own a church folks. They own a tent church, but they don't tend the church of God. Because the church of God have no isms and schisms. Amen. And it's time for us as being people of God to own up the responsibility of stop being racist. God told Peter, don't call no men common, but call them clean. He glory to God. And when God, when Peter saw Cornelius, and Cornelius brought a bow to Peter, Peter said, get up, I'm just a man like you are. Get up. Don't bow to me, I'm just a man like you are. I put the same pants you put on. But my subject was today, why I have racism in my family and it's spreading in the street. When I, when I say family, I mean, I mean my media family, my blood family, and family-in-laws. That's kind of family I'm talking about. And it's time to stop because we have, I have six grandchildren, three boys and three girls. And it's time for this racism to stop. It's time for grandparents, glory to God, to stop showing racism. Stop sisters and brothers, you stop showing racism. Stop being racial toward each other and start loving each other with love, with compassion, not the fake love. The only time we see each other is on funeral. But we need, see, we need to see each other have a family reunion. I'm start, I'm start saying I don't have a family. I thank God for my wife, my children, my seven children. But that's about it. Hallelujah. And we got to do better as being a family. But we can't. You know why? Because this thing been been spreading for a long generation. But it's time to put a generation to a, to a blessing rather than be a curse. God bless y'all. And don't forget to subscribe to my video. And thank you for, for watching and listening to Life Journey. Glory to God International 24-7. God bless.